I want to ask you some questions before you ask me questions. Is that okay? Good. So this is um, a camp that the Museum of Science and Technology in downtown Syracuse has put on for the last three years I've helped organize this. Um, it's uh, one they open up to uh, fifth grade girls from Syracuse City School District and we have a few faculty from the College of Arts and Sciences and School of Engineering and Computer Science who just have some activities or just have some of their own lab research going on that the girls can just get some exposure to so they can see what's going on. Um, I always try to include at least a couple undergrad or graduate students too so they, can just, they get a sense of who are the people who are doing this research too. Yeah, yes, yeah, so the idea is to see something like this in the field and understand how it forms here so that we can look at it out somewhere else in the world and say, oh, well, this formed on this degree slope or going this fast or whatever. So I was running an experiment, uh, one of many experiments here at Syracuse University, and I was looking at interactions of slope angle and lava morphology. The most common reaction we get is, oh, wow. It's important for girls to see that they can make important contribution because many times when I see the women not selecting, particularly engineering, mechanical, and civil, they want to go in areas where they can make an impact. I have two different polymers here. Okay, the first, this clear colored one, is the flocculant, and then you're going to see the effect of that, which you add first. That's going to bind the particles together because the flocculant is actually positively charged. Um, these small particles are negatively charged. Uh, so I think bringing them and exposing them to real projects where you can make really phenomenal impact, I think may interest and keep the interest in science and math. Usually if you, if you get exposed to some really cool stuff, you'll start asking some questions, and especially if you see that everyone's doing it. I pretty much, I consider this a lot to be, I'll expose to them how big of a nerd and a dork I am, and I'm kind of funny with that, and so hopefully they get the impression that, that it's okay to be enthusiastic about science and technology also.